editing this Christmas vlog of us opening our gifts and stuff. And then I have to leave because today's Little Miss's last day with us. Little Miss Penny. Little Miss. She's getting dropped off for her spay and they're keeping her until she gets adopted. So it's been a fun little run. She's gotten a lot better though as if she's getting acclimated. I feel bad that she hasn't eaten today because she has surgery, so. Oh. Matt's making special yummy bagels. Everything bagel, chive cream cheese, tomato, onion, tomato, lock, onion, cheese. capers. Disgusting. It's not disgusting, it's Why yummy. Well rub poop on it too. <laughs> okay. You want some poop on your bagel? Ew. But my dad comes in town tomorrow, so now I have to clean the house today. Hooray! I need to call him too. I'll call him the probably. never ending onslaught of guests. I don't know if I update you guys. Sarah didn't end up coming because it was Loser. gonna be too much with four dogs. Those are her words, not ours. I told her she could come. And she said no. Yeah. I hate you people. You wanna refill your flaky salt? <laughs> Matt just dropped this off. Yep, we're exporting. Oh my god, it smells so good. Heirloom tomatoes, red onion, lox, chive cream cheese, capers, everything bagel. Oh my god, my mouth's water. <laughs> Flaky salt and black pepper. Ah! Okay, guys, we're in the car. Oh, she gave a little kiss on the camera. Dropping her off. <laughs> it's sad. We gotta do like a big goodbye with Indy and Matt and her. Yeah. Okay, guys, we're here. Say bye, Penny. If one of you guys are able to adopt her, <laughs> that would make my heart so happy. She's at the Houston Humane Society. I will link her profile on their website down below. She's getting spayed today, so she can't have any more puppies. And she's such a sweetheart. They're gonna keep her here until someone adopts her, so she doesn't belong behind a cage, you guys. She's definitely been owned before. She belongs in a house. We're just going out of town, so I hope while we're gone, someone, someone sees her and takes her and then she can recover with them. But it's been so fun, Penny. We love you. Little Miss. Little Miss Penny is at the shelter. That was hard. I mean, we've had her for what, six days? Yeah, it's always hard. I mean, fostering is definitely bittersweet. I think as much as I would love to keep Penny, and I think her and Indy got along great. She was so sweet. I just don't think we're ready for two dogs. Like, responsible. I'm trying to think responsibly. And also, I know Penny's gonna get adopted super quickly. She is amazing and clearly was owned and loved, which also breaks my heart that we weren't able to find her original owners, but she's gonna get adopted really quickly. I just know she is. And she's gonna bring some family so much joy. And by not adopting her, that means that Matt and I as a family and Indy obviously are able to help more dogs in the future. It is hard, and people always say, how do you foster? I could never do that. It's hard, it is. But I just know that it's for the best, and I know that we gave Penny a lovely holiday, and she wasn't alone on Christmas. She wasn't in a, in a kennel all day. She got her presents, and she got to hang out with Indy. Obviously, I'd love to adopt every single dog ever, but it's just not realistic. So I know you guys loved her too, and I think after Matt and I get back from our New Year's trip, if Penny's still at the shelter, I will go and visit her just to check in and see how she's doing. But I know she's gonna go to a great home. I would love if one of you guys could adopt her, but I know that's asking a lot. She seriously is so great. And I definitely think Indy's gonna miss her. I currently am at F45. I'm going to do a workout. It's the day after Christmas. And I think moving forward with Vlogmas, I'm gonna keep doing more frequent uploads, more frequent uploads. Um, of like a couple days at a time. So maybe like two or three days upload, two or three days upload. I feel like that just makes the most sense. I think you guys let me know if that sounds good to you. I think it's easier for you guys to keep up with because I know watching a video every single day is a lot. And then obviously uploading every day is, it's not, I mean, honestly, it wasn't too bad. Like I really enjoyed Vlogmas and I'm glad you guys did too. All the res response was really good. And that makes me so happy. Um, and I just feel like we're getting closer and you know, there's nothing you can't hide much when you're vlogging every single day Not like I hid things, but like I feel like you guys are up to speed on everything. My dad comes in tomorrow 
so I have to clean the house today. I also want to get my nails done. So I need to clean up the whole house, catch up on emails, get my nails done. Those are like my main. Oh, and also get my car registration. Shoot, I like really need to do that. Maybe I'll look into that right now. Because while my dad's here, he's going to be driving my car, which is fine. But he's an ex-cop and I just know he's going to be like, this is expiring this month. Like, what do you have? So I just want to be like, show him my phone. Like, I ordered it. See, I'm waiting for it in the mail. I didn't realize that this was still in the car because it was on the leash and they took all this off when they were intaking her and then it was just under the blanket in the car and I just completely forgot so now we still have her collar. Which is like kind of sad, I don't know. Let's go work out, I need a good sweat. It's a full body workout, wait day today. Guys, <sighs> with a four second release, so pop that chest up and you also have some lower uh, body activation by holding. Hey guys, just finished. I have 45 workout, spraying my face, you guys on drill. With my antibacterial spray. It's always in my Amazon shop under skincare. I need to self tan. Whew. Um, but it was a good workout, full body. Felt good to just like move my body, especially after um, my Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. We didn't, did I even work? Oh yeah, I worked out on Christmas Eve. Matt and I went to Alpha Land, but it just feels good to move your body. Like, especially when you've just been like eating a lot and you're off your routine. Like I said, one of my favorite ways to kind of just make myself feel better, like give myself like a mental break during the holidays is working out. Or just going on a walk, like getting some type of movement in. How did I get so many emails? Okay, whatever. I'm gonna go get my nails done now, but I have to call my dad on my way over there. So that's what we're going to do, but it was a good workout. I had a Fair Life protein shake in there with while well, I was talking to the other trainers. But now I'm just water. Let's go get our nails done. Because the middle came off on both of them. My middle nail broke. I don't mean to flip, flip you off, but like, well, some of you, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. Probably something like more neutral. But we'll see. Who knows? Alright guys, getting my nails done. I don't know what color I want. Oh, sometimes it's like too like this place has so many options. It's like overwhelming sometimes. Uh, okay, I'll come back when I think I know what I want. I actually have no idea. I don't have the nail salon and I switched it up, you guys. If you've been following me for a while, you know I've been wanting to try to grow out my natural nails more. So I didn't do that. I didn't get natural nails. But I switched up the shape. I got a rounded square and I did a very natural coat. Cause I've been doing red for probably two months now, three months maybe. So it looks really washed out. I need to self tan cause I scrubbed it all off, but I'm going to for Scottsdale. I just thought this was like a nice neutral. The color is bubble bath by OPI, just two coats of it. And I like the rounded square. I just feel like I can do more things. And we're just switching it up. I feel like it looks really like clean. What do you guys think? If you don't like them, don't say that because I'm stuck with them for a month. But I like them. The Christmas gift that I want to give him, I want to give him a, a photo, like a nice photo in a nice frame of him walking me down the aisle. I think that would be really special. Um, and he just got a new house, so I figured like he probably needs stuff on the walls because he's a guy. So we're gonna do that now actually. So we need to print photo and get a frame. All right, we're back from Target. I ended up getting this frame. This is gonna bother me and it's white here, but whatever, like it doesn't matter. It's my dad walking me down the aisle. Then you can see Matt smiling. My brother was officiating. Just like this cute little thing. Um, but I also saw they had these adorable sweatpants that are so soft. I haven't heard anyone talk about these. They only had a few select sizes left in store, so your best bet might be going online, but I just need you to trust me when I say you need to feel these. I can't describe it. I got literally, what do I own pink? I literally got it in pink because I was like, they're so comfortable. I will link them down below. Um, this, they only had mediums and like larges. Usually I would get like a small in these, but I don't even care. I was like, I need them. And did you like them? I'm obsessed. I just, trust me and you need to feel these. I can't even describe, they're so well made. The little slit at the bottom, oh, stunning. I got them in pink and cream. But now I'm hungry. Probably chicken meatballs, you guessed it. Back to a staple. I'll probably make a salad because I have the arugula, goat cheese, pomegranates. It's probably the same salad I made like two days ago. Yeah, arugula, goat cheese, 
chicken meatballs, nuts chopped up, cucumber, and then a balsamic vinaigrette. Sounds delish to me. Oh, guys. Look at Indy. She misses. She misses her friend. Do you miss your friend? It's home in Indy. They're taking a nap. But I was just on the website to look at Penny's profile on the Humane Society website. You guys. She was adopted. I'm so happy. The head of my foster, like, of the Humane Society, like, texted me earlier. But I was listening to podcasts and just, like, cleaning the house. So I didn't see it. So I just saw it. And she, it was at, like, 4.45. She goes, adopted. And I just responded at 6. But I think she's off, obviously. So I don't know who did it. I want to know if it was just, like, someone random coming in and seeing her. Or if it was someone who came in looking for her. I'm excited. I wonder if she's still gonna get like spayed tomorrow. I have so many questions. It's bittersweet, but I'm happy. I wanna know details though, and I'm like, can I follow them on Instagram? <laughs> Actually, the last dog we fostered, Bucky, if you guys remember him, I handled his adoption like with the per people who were adopting him. I like met them and everything. So I started following them, so I see him all the time, which is just like nice. I don't know who's adopting this dog. I post on my Instagram story, so I'm like, is it one of you guys? That's why I want to know who did it. I'm just curious. I want to know where she's going. That was quick. She's been there for maybe 12 hours, and she's already in the house. I love that. She's so tired. Like, she doesn't nap during the day in a while. Good penny. Oh, let me show you the mirror. I set up the giant mirror. I also realized, like, I probably have to pack tonight. Because we leave on Thursday, but my dad comes tomorrow, which is Wednesday. Look at this mirror, it's massive. I don't know if you can tell how big it is. This was the f this one, and this was the other one. We were using this little mirror. It's huge. I'm obsessed with it. Like, you can see full body. Obsessed. It was like 150 bucks from Walmart. I want to get more for other areas of the house. Also, I'm wearing the new sweatpants I got from Target. I got size medium, so I did have to roll them, like one. But they're so, I don't even know how to describe this material, you guys. So luxe, like so good, unbelievable. You can say that she's a little sleepy. She's a little sleepy girl, yes. I don't know why I call my dog's mama. <laughs> She's like, this is the first time I got to relax in five days. I'm mom, I'm tired. <laughs> I mean, it's not like I'm gonna touch right now, but this is, just, this is just enough to say like, hey, you know, this guy's a professional, you know. We got in and out we got the protein style, we got double doubles. Do you wanna say hi? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. First stop, in and out burger. Yup. Okay, I'm at HEB right now, picking up stuff for dinner, because my dad was so funny. He was like, I feel like, sorry, the music's really loud. He's like, I feel like you're always cooking on TikTok, and I want a recipe from you guys. So he's like, I don't know, can you make like tacos? And we're like, of course. So he wants skirt steak tacos. So let me show you what we have. Skirt steak, he has milk for his coffee, some quick Spanish rice, tortillas, and then limes, lemons, avocados, onions, tomatoes, and cilantro. And we're gonna make some skirt steak tacos. I'm back from HEB, and I'm Sarah, Matt's sister, sent us gifts for Christmas because she couldn't be with us, because um, she was in Austin, whatever. Um, but she got Indy these little doggy cookies, and then she got me Costco joggers. I have Costco merch. Hell yeah, that is so funny. Okay, we have two more to open, so let's... Sarah, you have a good wrapper. Ooh, looks like she ordered something. <gasps> Road? Oh my god! I don't have anything from Road. <gasps> Wait. She had me for Secret Santa and their family. Let me get a tripod so I can... <laughs> tripod, aka my water. I haven't had anything from Road before. Oh my god. Oh, it's all of them. Oh my gosh. 
feel like I'm getting PR. Oh my gosh. Who are you talking to? My yourself? camera. Oh, okay. You're kidding me. Look at, she got me Costco sweatpants. Wow. So Costco merch. Okay. And these are, you know, Hailey Bieber, you know who that is? Oh, uh, it's Married to Justin, Justin Bieber. Yeah. Okay. She has this, like, skincare brand okay. road beauty and she got me all the lip peptide treatments oh, ah, i haven't tried any of those oh my gosh sarah that is uh, way too much already oh <gasps> no oh, i literally almost ordered this last night she got me the new face this okay i know you don't know it's a like it basically helps, it's like a workout for your face. Like it okay. helps lift everything. Cause I'm 30 now. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> oh my God. That was, a, that was, wow. That was incredible. Sarah, I'm in shock. Wow, guys, everything. The new face mini, I literally almost ordered this yesterday. I'm not even kidding. Wow. Then the road, and then the, I don't know how you can get more Blair Cooley coded right here. I'm obsessed. Thank you so much, Sarah. Is this what it's like having a sister? <laughs> okay, we're gonna have tacos for dinner, like I was saying, so I'm gonna make a quick marinade for the skirt steak. I'll just kind of walk you through. I'm just eyeballing everything. I'm doing one can of chipotle peppers in adobo. Just putting the whole thing in there. I'm gonna do the juice of two limes, maybe some Crushed garlic. Throw this in here. One G, one lime, and then throw the peel in there. Just the whole thing. We have this much garlic left. I'm just gonna roughly smash these and throw them in. Crush, crush, crush. I'm just keeping them whole. Like so. Throwing them in. So we have this so far. I'm gonna do some cilantro. I'm just gonna rip. Throw that in. Um, some soy sauce for a little umami. I know that sounds weird. Some olive oil. Cumin. Salt. Pep. And then the limes in here. Let's put this in. Skirt steak's very thin. It cooks super fast. It helps to marinate it because that tenderizes the meat. Put it in and then make sure it's covered and add more as you need. And make sure everything. Yeah, I'm gonna add a little more lime juice. We wanna put it in here so that we can get the rest of the adobo out of there. Just squeezing this in here, like so. And pour in the rest in there because we don't waste and that pop in the fridge and it'll be ready to cook just i'm gonna lay it flat and then i also got the fresh tortillas from youtube we're gonna make a quick guac some pico i got the microwave spanish rice bada bing bada boom my dad and i are gonna run to costco now because to get some of his snacks and favorites for the week so we'll show you what we get there I like to go to different grocery stores where I am. No, this is what we don't have. Yeah, well, because you guys have Kirkland liquor. So is that part of Costco? Just the subsidy? No. They don't have any Kirkland brands. They have Kirkland wine, but just not hard liquor. Oh, actually, oh my god. The best value is uh, the vodka. Oh. I know. Oh, I love eating those. Yeah, I get those. Because I'll just eat them plain too. Yeah, that's what I do, yeah. They're like candy, they're so sweet. Of course it's smoky, you know? Yeah. Maybe you guys need why we're here? No, it's because we're going out of town. Oh, it's cold. Burger salad. Interesting. You want to eat? Do you like the carrots and hummus? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's a good healthy snack, you know? Yeah, definitely. Which one do you like? Uh, they don't have it. Sometimes they're out here. Okay. Which one do you get normally? What's it called? I, I know when I see it. The kale one? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Yum. 
Ooh, you have any berries or anything? I get the rotisserie. Ooh, lychee nectar. This would be good in like, like lychee martinis. Basically, like, if I go to the health club, I'll, I'll mix this with water. Yeah, I'll dilute it a little bit. Be, I'm supposed to be drinking lemonade. It's supposed to be good for your kidneys and stuff. Allegedly. Mm. You see the date on here? You be on the top? What's it say? August 2024. Yes. That's pretty good. See the dog treats. She's gonna be spoiled. Yeah, get, get my grandchild into something. Yeah. Have you read these chips? They, they come up pretty pretty high. God. Anything from Siete is really good. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. Oh that's good. Yeah, that's really good. Let's try this. We don't have this at home, so let's see what this comes out to. It's hard to find ones. This isn't bad. 54 is not bad. Those look interesting. Yeah. I would try them. Alright, cool. I like pistachio. Yeah. Yeah, I'll try it. You guys have bread at home or no? No. We have tortillas. Right. Well, you know what? Maybe I won't need it if I get tortillas. You know what I mean? Because I'm not going to be here that long. But normally, Costco has a similar one to this. But you guys don't have it here. That comes back. I, I said a name. Huh. Guys, he's so funny. I'm dying. <laughs> Look at you. A little haul. Trying these out. Never had these. I'm gonna show my dad siete. He likes these. These are for Indy. Showing my favorite salsa. Dave's killer bread. Yeah. Look at you, you got a little special camera. Yeah, our salads, lemonades, chicken. I'm excited to try these. Such a licorice fan. And then you guys know I love these already. Yeah. What a fun little haul. I like one grand things by. Um, okay. Matissery chicken Costco haul. Mateo's. It's so good. Look at her. She knows these are for her. She does. These are new for us, but I love any licorice gummy, so we're excited to try that. Dave's Killer Bread Thin Slice Sprouted. Ooh, my baby. Yeah. Pistachio. Go to your spot. Oh, it's Good girl, yes. Good girl. I got these are a new tribe. Never tried them before, but they look really good. Pistachio almond. Um, pistachios. Big pistachio fam. So you have three chips. My dad's never tried them, so we're trying them out. These Cape Cod ones. Hummus. Um, here, just leave. I'll put it away. Yeah. Some salad. Oh, you like those? I'll get Lemonade. I'm telling you, man. Every dog loves those bones. Tomatoes, carrots, and dried mango. Healthy stuff, right? Yeah. All right, we're making guac, four avocados, half a white onion, one, uh, one Roma tomato, lime juice, salt, pepper, garlic powder. Easy. I can run So if you um, you pour in the glass, cilantro. I know. I was like, honestly, this is every girl's dream to have their dad here, and all this is going down. I was like, dad. But it just worked out. It was beautiful. Whoa! It looks so cool. Yeah, come look. Wow. You need to send this to your mom. I did. <sighs> send me a picture and I said, uh, screw steak tacos and fire going. Because okay. if it's not big enough, then it won't, like the smoke. Oh, is it that the air doesn't come in? It, yeah, okay. it's, it, it doesn't burn small. That's a birthday gift. It's like in okay. patio and big enough for, This like, top grate. How cool. This is, this is nice. No, but, um, like they make some small. But I, I really should. Do you spray I this? I was going to say. I should yeah. talk about it. Wow. Hey, what a concept. Smoke was fire. Yeah, this is a this is a brio. I really don't care for the other three. The other three is good. That looks. And there was like, like, cable, yeah, cable guy, and, and the fourth guy. I don't even. Know. Um, y'all, look how good these look. Ah! We have the guac, and then we're gonna top it just with some chopped onion and cilantro. I need to chop the cilantro. We have some of our mateos, and then we have the fresh H E B tortillas mats. Also putting those over the fire to make them like fire roasted. And then we have our microwavable Spanish rice in here because you gotta pick your battles, you know? We make a homemade marinade for the skirt stick, but we microwave our rice. I'm with those folks. Yeah. <laughs> but the hoi polloi. I didn't caddy after the course. Caddying is, it was a great experience. I wish I was. Because you know, you're mingling mm -hmm. with all these real wealthy people and you learn how I'm gonna go to bed, call it a night, but I hope you enjoyed this few days in my life vlog. We're leaving for Scottsdale tomorrow. 
So we'll see if I vlog what I what what footage I get from there. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog, and I will catch you all in the next one. Bye, guys.